Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and welcome back to the Edit PDF tool. Today, we're going to be looking at the more advanced capabilities and functionalities of this tool. So last time, we did some of the more basic things, adding text, editing text, adding images, hyperlinks, and then cropping. So let's get right into headers and footers. So we can add, update, or remove. So let's add a header. Oh, this file actually already contains a header or footer. Let's get rid of it. So we can replace the existing one. So as you can see here, we have all these options for how we want our header or our footer to appear. We got our font, font size, the margin. I'm just going to put a very basic, yeah, left header. And a right header. Okay. I didn't want to leave the footer out. Okay, so then we can say okay. We can also preview our pages to see how it looks on every single page. Cool, and we can also apply this to files other than the current one we have open, so by clicking apply to multiple files. But we're just gonna stick it with this file for now. I'm gonna click okay. And so as you can see, header goes here for every page. The footer goes there too at the bottom. That was kind of some unfortunate placement to be honest, since this was covering it up. There it is, okay. So how, that's how that works. Then we can use the watermark tool. So we can add a watermark to our document. We can just make it a text or if we want to, we can make it its own file. But we're just going to make it some text. And to look more official, I like to make the watermarks rotate it a bit. And then make them a bit, you know, see-through. You don't want them to be too obnoxious. Okay. And again, as before, we can shift the position around, mess around with the text. We can apply it to multiple files, do, on, do it on certain page ranges. We're just going to do it for this file. There we go. Now we have that big, ugly watermark in the center. But wait, there's more. There's the More menu over here. And then we can click into the background. So as before, we can add, update, or remove with the Add Background tool. And with the background, you can add, you can make the background a file. You can make it a color. Let's make it, I don't know, red. <laughs> uh, that does not look pretty. We're not going to go ahead and do that. But yes, that's how you add and update and remove watermarks. Uh, Bates numbering, we've already gone over this before, and it's essentially the same functionality as adding a header or a footer. Adding a bookmark. So. Bookmarks are little internal links within a folder or a file, a PDF, that you can click on and it'll jump you to a specific page view. So this particular Word document, this Meridian sample document that I'm working with, this document automatically comes with this bookmark. It's starting to get a bit hard to read with this watermark. But yes, this document comes with this bookmark that lets you jump to Jane Smith, Meridian Inc., Meridian Towers, etc. We can also create bookmarks wherever we want, really. So we can add a bookmark just like that. So this is what? This is page 8. So we just call this page, page 8. So if we go to a different page and then we click page 8, we end up at page 8. Moving on, we can also attach a file in case we want to include a file with this PDF but not have to append it. Or if it, would, if it just wouldn't look good when we convert it into a PDF, we can do that right here. And finally, adding an article box. This is a fairly underutilized and underappreciated tool. Oh, add an article box. So I've already added some for this particular document, but article boxes essentially allow you to d distinguish and lay out what kind of spaces you want the user, the end user to be reading when they read this PDF. So essentially, 
I've already created them, but let me just create another article right here. So let's click and drag. And this is going to be our new article. So obviously a real article will be a bit longer than this, but for our purposes, it'll be fine. So you just click and drag to isolate the area that you'd like the end user to read. Close it out. And then you can go over here to the left-hand side and click this little button for articles. And if this view is not available to you, go into View, Show Hide, Navigation Panes, and then Articles. That's how you get this little squiggly line to pop up. And then you can click to any of the article boxes here. And notice how the article boxes that were already present, it automatically zooms in to this view so you don't have to mess around with the zoom while you read. Similarly, the one, the article box I just created is this one. So I jump to it and it automatically lays out what I should be reading, which is useful for reading on an e-reader. It'll automatically zoom in, so the end user doesn't have to zoom in themselves. Alrighty then, that's about it for the uh, many, many capabilities of the Edit PDF tool. Thanks for coming, folks. My name is David Wilmer, and next time we'll be looking at a much simpler tool, the Export PDF tool. Until then, take care.